I would like to give a confident and precise answer to that question. Unfortunately, that is not possible. One problem is that it is simply impossible to precisely forecast the development of the technologies and medical advances required to repair and revive cryopreserved patients. We will need fully developed capabilities in the area of tissue regeneration and cellular repair, both for whole body patients and to regrow bodies for brain-only patients. The most optimistic estimates are around 30 years. That's based on an assumption that superintelligent machines will emerge at that point and quickly solve all the technical problems. Most of us expect it to take considerably longer than that, perhaps a century. My guess, and it really is a guess, although an informed one, is that it probably won't take more than about a century, give or take a few decades. If technological, medical, and scientific progress accelerates, it will be much sooner. There's another reason why it's impossible to provide a general and accurate answer to the question of when cryopreserved patients will be revived. Consider that the technical and organizational abilities of cryonics organizations develop over time. Assuming that alcohol keeps improving, then on average, patients cryopreserved later will be in better condition than earlier patients. The longer you stay alive and healthy, the better treatment you're likely to receive. The patients with the least damage are likely to be the first to be revived, while those with the most damage may be the last. Or, as it's sometimes summarized, first in, last out. Last in, first out. In addition, the extent of damage to be repaired will depend on the condition of the individual patient. How much damage was done by aging? How much damage from disease needs to be repaired? And how long was the period of warm or cold ischemia, lack of blood flow? Apart from the direct damage involved, these factors can also affect the quality of the cryopreservation, since it can affect our ability to perfuse the brain. So I'm sorry I can't give a more exact and satisfying answer. I'm Max Moore. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it interesting, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out our website, and consider becoming an associate member.